Shalom. Welcome to GMS Gallows on the Streets. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, whom I worship. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word in sincerity and in truth and who rule well. And salutations to all the Akim out there um, doing the same, you know, preaching the word out there to the time of Yahweh Shai's coming. To the confusion of faith brothers out there as well doing the same thing. Uh, salutations to you and to brothers that um, are following in the spirit of GMS but are not um, uh, a physical part of GMS. Uh, but they have that faith and, and, and uh, doctrine like GMS. Salutations to you uh, brothers. You know, stay strong. Keep pushing on. I'm not the soccer run from the GMS New York camp. And I'm coming at you today a, a little different from the norm that uh, you, you're used to. Um, you're used to, because uh, you know I like to go into uh, prophecy. But I'm taking uh, a little break from that just to bring out, just to bring out the the foundations uh, of this faith, man. All right, and the the rudimentary uh, 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 things of this faith, you know. Um, you know, it seems like there's, there's, you know, brothers within GMS, they are, they are forgetting uh, the principles, man, you know, and the spirit's on me uh, to, to go back and bring out the commandments, man, also known as the, the Ten Commandments. Now, we know that there's more than Ten Commandments, but, you know, um, hey, the scriptures say, hey, you know, if you got, you, you got uh, G, um, Israelites that are affiliated with, um, with, with GMS out there and um and you're getting you're getting weak in the faith man and you you pretty much doing uh, uh niggerish shit you better you know check yourself you know um the scriptures say re uh remember remember from whence thou art fallen let me get that real quick Yeah, this is um, dealing with thy first love. That first love is when you first heard, came into the faith, and uh, everything was sweet, and every and 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 and, and you were filled with the zeal of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Um, and you were you were unmovable, man, unstoppable, right? Um, you know, you got the word, you 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 you, you were happy. Um, you were full of faith, full of the zeal of the Most High, but then somewhere down the line, you you got weak. Okay, you started falling back to your old niggerish ways, man. Now I'm gonna read this because you know you su you supposed to first of all catch examine the scriptures say examine yourself. That, that's another one. Examine yourself yourself whether you be in the faith or not. And there's a lot of there's a lot of um cats within Great Millstone that that are really not. In the faith, man, and they still have the old man. They haven't, they haven't put on the new man. Okay, but they act. They go through the motions, and they got. They put the garment on, and they go to camp every week, right? They do shows and stuff like that. But really, really, they, they, you know, they haven't, they haven't put on the faith, and they haven't changed themselves, man. Okay, and the Lord, there's a, there's a scope on you, you know. There's a there's a big light shining on you because you're supposed to um, every day change change that old man into the new you know S especially if you've been in the faith more than more than uh, uh, five to uh, more than five and ten years man you should you should know better all right um, but anyway this is revelation 2 and 4 it says nevertheless I have somewhat against thee. Because thou hast left thy first love, right? That you know, your first love is when you first, when the word was first presented unto you, and and it, uh, 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 which is the wisdom of the Lord, and she became a, your lover, okay? And you took her on, and you were filled with filled with faith and with uh, zeal, all right? But then somewhere, like I said, somewhere down the line, man, that started. Fading away. It, 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 uh, this thing wasn't, you know, uh, uh wonderful to you any, anymore. 
okay or you just started getting weak all right it says remember therefore from from whence thou art fallen meaning remember from the point that that the, the wisdom of the Lord was presenting unto you until the time when you 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 got weak and fell or or, or until the time you got weak let me say and 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 get that zeal back and pray to the Lord you know for for um for uh you know to to put that spirit back in you to keep to put that spirit back in you that you once had and to, and to keep it and for him not to take it away because that's a scary thing man okay and that's another scripture give give me one second Yeah, this is uh this is King David and this is Psalms 51, okay? And it says uh, let's go let's read from the 10th verse. I mean the whole the whole Psalms is bad. All right? It says create in me a clean and this should be a prayer for for all of us in the faith, man. A prayer to be said every single day. All right? It says create in me a clean heart. Oh, Yahweh, right, because the heart you had when you were in the world was filthy, man, okay? Uh, uh, filled, it was filthy, filled with uh, um, adultery, all right? And for, and, for, and for cats that are in Great Millstone, man, uh, you, you should already know, man, that, that shit don't, that shit don't, don't, don't roll with us, man. All right, if you got an adulterous spirit, man, a, a, a wicked ass heart like that, Okay, where you wanna, where you wanna lay with, 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 a, with another brother's um or another man's woman. Yo, yo, that's a wicked ass spirit. That's you know. Um. So, but the Lord will search you out. All right. The Lord w will search you out, man. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm sure throughout Great Millstone, you have a lot of that. You know, you're tr uh, trying to be on a sneak tip, but you know what? The Lord will search you out. And brothers are supposed to be on, on high alert, man, in these last days, watching out for these demons, man. Okay? Don't don't ignore the signs. Yeah, man, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be watching. You're not see, we are supposed to be watching the prophecies, but not only watching the prophecies, but watching watching Satan, man, watching these these devils that Satan has um uh, put into our camps, like the scriptures say, man. Uh, um, um, they're you know wicked, wicked men, you know. Um, um, crept in unawares, man. All right. So brothers are supposed to be on a on a higher level than that. You're supposed to be vigilant, watchful, watching over the sheep. Okay, because somebody like that is a wolf, man. I mean, if a dude's within the camp and the, and, and 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 he has he's filled with adulteries, he has an adulterous heart, man. Then what? That means he don't he don't give a shit. That means he's 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 liable to do anything, man. Okay, even to set your ass up and and probably get you killed. And th this is the serious of the matter, man. Um. Verse 10 again. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and renew a right spirit within me. Okay? That's that's the prayer you're supposed to be praying every day. And then this is the point. It said, Cast me not away from thy presence. Yeah, man. That's definitely you don't want the Lord to take away uh uh to, you know, you don't want the Lord to take take his spirit away from you. Okay? Because uh man Pretty much, you're gonna like the scriptures say. You're gonna get seven, seven, seven more demons, uh, um, um, more wicked and and stronger than the first demon. Okay, they caused you to fall. That from when you was in the world, all right, and you came into the faith, and then you fell back into the world again. Um, seven more demons are gonna be added unto you, man. Okay, and they're gonna mess your ass up because not then you you're not gonna have the protection of the holy angels no more. You don't you're not gonna have that hedge. All right, it says um and take not thy holy spirit from me, and that's the point I wanted to bring out. You know you don't want the Lord to remove His holy spirit from you, man. 
to the point where you fall away from this faith, man, and 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 you do, you know, start doing wickedness, and you don't care. All right, you 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 forget the 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 um the uh, the sincere milk milk of this thing of this faith, which are which is the basics, man. So now let's go. Let me go back to uh, Revelation two, two and five. And it says, "Remember from, uh, remember therefore from, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works." Right? Where are the first works, man? The basics of the scriptures, man. Which I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get into. I'm gonna I'm start with the uh, commandments, man. What, what are known as the Ten Commandments, okay? Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So, so brothers, man, you support. First of all, you're supposed to be, you know, uh, um. Take an in inventory of your faith daily. That's that's for one. And if you're feeling weak in the, in the spirit, man, in the faith, you're supposed to ask how about swimming how shot to strengthen that faith, that faith and that confidence, man. You know. Before he removes that candlestick from you. Now let's go back to uh, Exodus, the twentieth chapter. Okay, so I might make I might make this this video here like in two parts, um, because once again I'm at work. So, but this is Exodus 20 and one. Okay, and these are the the foundation and the and the and the um the you know the sincere milk of the scriptures say of the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai man things that you're supposed to know, things that you were taught you know when you first came in. Into the faith, right? And it says, <clears throat> Exodus 20 and verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now that's that's commandment number one. Boom. I mean that is, and pretty much these are no brainer, no brainers, man. When you come into this faith, you already know when you come into this faith, whatever re religion you have, whatever gods you used to worship, uh, Allah, Buddha, Jesus Christ, right? Some some goddamn Harry Krishna. You already know <clears throat> that. That don't mingle with this, with this word. You're supposed to do away with all that shit, all that nonsense, okay? That you that you was once taught in the world, man, and whatever religion that you was that you was raised in, you're supposed to get rid of that, right? And acknowledge that, acknowledge the Son of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai, all right? That He's our that He's our Savior, all right, and no and none other, okay? And believe in in the Father. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh meaning the Father, in the name of the Son, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, whom the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ. Verse four, right? Thou shalt thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or which this goes, you know, with verse verse three. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, right? Graven means uh, um, like uh, uh, carved, you know, sculpt, like carved, scor uh, sculptured, out of stone, out of out of wood, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, right? Right, like they um, <clears throat> Israel, and uh. In the ancient world, they used to worship uh, a a god. They worshiped many gods, but there was one god named Dagon. 
and Dagon was a fish god. All right, and now that was something that was in, that's in the sea. All right, but they worshipped it because the heathen worshipped it. So Israel always wants to do what the heathen do instead of doing what the Most High told them to do. Right? It says, "Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above." Right? Uh, uh, angels. You ain't supposed to have uh, angels, man. Uh, statutes of angels. All right, Un unto us, man. Worshiping that. And you ain't supposed to have no, no uh, um, um, you ain't supposed to be worshiping uh, char chariots. Now we believe in chariots. You ain't supposed chariots are in, in the in the heavens in the skies, right? You ain't supposed to be worshiping uh, chariots, neither, man. Th things of that sort, right? It says, uh, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy power am a jealous power. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, right? Because that's how the Lord comes back and gets you. Alright? Here it is, you sinned long time ago. When you come back in the third or fourth generation, he judges you. How how does he judge you? He he'll put you in a in a uh, um a handicapped body. You know, or a body a, a body that is blind or maimed or or that they, they got cerebral palsy or something like that. Okay. Uh, verse six, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Right, and that's the elect, the ones that he's showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love him. That's that's the elect, man. You know, and Lord, Lord willing, I, and I hope that I am one, I am one of those um, um, people that have loved them in the past, man. And. Uh, because I, I love him now, you know, and fear his holy name now. So I hope and pray that I am a part of that number, you know. And I'm sure, you know, you brothers who are listening, um, um, pray for the same and hope for the same thing. Verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain. And the way you take the name of the Lord in vain is one, by, by trying to change his name, okay, not acknowledging that his name is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, calling him some G Jesus Christ. That's one way. Another way is by you going against his laws, statutes, and commandments. You're taking his, uh, his name in vain, man. And not showing respect unto his holy name. For the Lord would not hold him guilt guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day. Once again, a no-brainer. You should know this being in the faith. To keep it holy. Now you know when the Sabbath, the Sabbath, you know that we, the Sabbath is, um, on the new moons. That's a, that's a Sabbath, right? Seven days after that, that's a Sabbath, and for the whole month, it, you know, that's it. It continues like that. <clears throat> so you, you should already know. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to um, uh, light a fire on the Sabbath. You're not supposed to work now. But you know, this is where the the grace and the mercy of of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai comes in. Because in this setup, you know, if you have to work on the Sabbath and the day that the Sabbath comes in, then you got to work. Then the Lord, you know, like I said, these are no-brainer, no-brainer things, man. Okay? That shouldn't have to be reiterated all the time. But this is why the Lord used to um, repeat things to Israel over and over and over again by the mouth of the prophets. Cause, because Israel is a hard-headed and stiff-necked rebellious people. And that's how you know who Israel is, man. That's one of the signs. Okay, verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is, that is within thy gates. It says, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it all right a no-brainer verse 12 honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee and that's true that's also a no-brainer okay but also the Lord has said who is who is my who is my uh, mother 
who was my father and who's my brother, who's my sister, except those who do the, um, uh, the will of the Lord. Now, those are my, my mother, my father, my brother, and my sister. Okay, so we got to, you know, keep that in mind as well. You know, and pretty much, technically, uh, uh, um, um, everyone who is not for the Lord is against the Lord. So they're technically uh, enemies, man. But we are to rehearse the righteous acts, right? Verse 13, thou shalt not kill. Now, that word kill in the Hebrew is tharatazak, which means murder, because that's common sense. Um, to eat. How are you to eat, you know, if you got cattle? Um, you have to kill the, the cattle in order to, to eat the meat, right? To cook the meat. Well, you know, of course, well done. <laughs> don't, don't need to say that. Um, in order to eat. So that word there is murder, meaning uh, pre, premeditating, premeditated uh, 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 killing on a person. And I'm going to stop it here. This is, this is the point I wanted to make, but I'm going to do a part two. That says, thou shalt not commit adultery. Another no-brainer. This common sense. You know when you're in this faith, you're not of the world man, anymore. And the world is full of adultery, man. Like the Lord said, oh, you wicked and adulterous generation. Only a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh for a sign. And there shall no sign be given it except for the sign of the prophet Jonas. Jonas. And, and, and with that, I'm going uh, to leave off here. And uh, Lord willing, continue this, okay? So you should already know, you you ain't supposed to be acting like no nigga. You're not supposed to be. First of all, that sh that the way you were in the world, you're supposed to leave that in the world, man. You are you're supposed to be a new creature in this, okay? A renewed uh, 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 person in this faith, clean, okay? Uh, and you're supposed to hate. Adultery, hate anything that's evil, man. All right. So with that, this has just been another quick lesson. Of the soccer run, signing off. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know of any new videos that I put up. But also look out for uh, part two to this lesson. Shalom.